of Dallas is getting so serious about animal offenders, it's preparing to round them up and take them to jail. More than 10,000 pet owners have outstanding warrants. Our Marianne Martinez is live at Dallas Animal Services to explain what this means for you. Marianne? Gilma, the warrant roundup is part of a larger effort by the city of Dallas to really change the culture of how people and animals interact here in the city. Now, they have already started to make some of these changes, setting up things like cameras, and they tell us there are more changes to come, especially if you're a pet owner. In 2017, 634 people were bitten by loose dogs in Dallas. 10,000 unpaid tickets for violation like loose dogs and animals that were not spayed or neutered are outstanding. The biggest problem is loose dogs. Well, a person died, you know, um, a year and a half ago in Dallas. Um, and people can even look, look past that. It's, it's not safe for your animal. The city will be arresting violators and giving them a chance to pay their tickets and become responsible pet owners. Most of the tickets are in the 75217 zip code in southeast Dallas. People are still just kind of thumbing their nose at the system um, that we're, we're trying to get the animal population under control, you know, responsibly. In 2017, the Dallas Marshal's Office installed cameras in southeast Dallas in an effort to catch animal dumping. They caught this man and prosecuted him. I live right off the highway. There's a lot of people that dump animals, like, off the side of the road. And there are more changes coming. We're actually looking at the entire section of the animal codes in the, in the city of Dallas. And later this year, a new city ordinance that outlaws tethering, that's where you tie up your dog and leave it unattended, even on your own property, takes effect. And again, as you just heard the director of animal services say, he will be looking at all of the city ordinances regarding uh, animals and evaluating which ones work and which ones do not. Reporting live from Dallas, Marianne Martinez, CBS 11 News.